wonderful, fantastic, lurid, macabre. These are the stories of my life. Improbable though they may appear, it must be understood that each reminiscence is rooted in fact. Some of these tales will amaze you, some may shock you, some may even horrify you. The truth is stranger than fiction, so prepare a handsome repast and proceed with caution. This is being recorded on a Friday, the 17th of April, and you most likely will not see this well until the month of May. So, let's get on with it. Welcome to yet another Snack and a Story with yours truly. Uh, as you can see, I'm in, uh, I suppose, my my windbreaker that's because i just got done walking the dog and uh you know i just uh was getting to making breakfast so there we are so uh today's meal is um more cereal this time i don't know if you can see i'm gonna try and tilt this so you can see it some uh honey nut cheerios i'm not that big of a fan of cheerios but i had some lying about and uh I'm saving my life uh, cereal for a rainy day because uh, that happens to be one of my favorites. But uh, anyhow, um, on with the story, I guess. So, yeah. Unlike the previous stories that I've went through, this one was not actually part of a list. Um, this one sort of uh, extemporaneously um, materialized in my head uh, just now, actually, because uh, whilst walking the dog, I sort of was thinking, among other things, about potential ideas for uh, snack and stories, and all of a sudden this popped in my mind, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it. Get on with it, as I said. So this happened to me about, I'd say, five or six months ago. I, I really don't know when. But sometime last year, maybe towards the end of last year, maybe the latter half of last year. And really, it was sort of kind of like a... An inadvertent type of thing, you know. So I guess uh, one day, <coughs> one night actually, uh, we were uh, trying to decide what to eat for dinner. And uh, my mother actually uh, settled on Jimmy John because that happens to be our favorite uh, sandwich shop. Uh, from where to get our our subs or whatever. And we all thought that was a great idea. So we went along with it and uh, you know her and I drove down there and she sent me in to go and get and pay for the things. So, you know, she, I guess, would wait in the car for my return. There's an ant over there. I need to do some vacuuming. So 
So I go in there, I, you know, ask for, or they ask me if I ordered whatever it is I ordered. I say yes, I get the stuff, I pay for it, even get 50 cent uh, day old bread, because we happen to like that stuff, anyhow. And it was very dark. It was, I believe, around the time when, you know, it was winter and the days were sort of shorter and the nights were longer and such. And this was around maybe like 6, 6.30 when this happened. But... My mum's car, I'm not going to say what kind of car it is, but it's a very distinctive looking car. And it's very hard to miss, really. So I see this one car, you know, I see what I assume to be her car, um, right there. So I go up to it, and... Uh, you know, it seems to look fairly commensurate to my assumptions. And, uh, you know, I've got the sandwiches in my hand and everything, and I decide just to open the door because, you know, uh, we don't want to spend another minute there because we're, we're, we're hungry as hell. So. So I open the door, and then I notice that the interior is completely different. The interior is not leather, but instead it's like grey upholstery. And on the floor, there happens to be like a purplish sort of blanket uh, lining it. And all, and all to get, and the car was all around very shabby looking and such. It wasn't necessarily what... Uh, I was used to it all. And all of a sudden, I, I looked up, and I saw this other woman, uh, who was just minding her own business on her phone and whatnot, uh, you know, a typical phone zombie. Uh, you know, and she didn't really even know that this happened. Uh, I was just about to get in when I realized this, and I said, oh, sorry, wrong car. And uh, pretty much just shut the door, uh, ran over to Mum's car, which is basically two cars uh, away from that one. And we went on our way with the sandwiches and everything. Yes, she, that lady left the door unlocked. Why? I'm not too sure. Maybe she was waiting for somebody. I don't know. But uh, I never got her reaction. I, I left too early to find that out. And... I told Mum this, and she thought I initially peered in and thought and saw that it was the wrong car. She didn't know yet that I had opened the door and almost was ready to get in. But then I explained it to her, and, and uh, she was stupid with laughter. So, we got our sandwiches, we ate and everything, and, uh, you know, then, you know, we carried on through the night. You know what? I think I figured out why I don't like Cheerios, because they have the same problem that Captain Crunch does, in that... They, they scrape the hell out of your your upper jaw or upper mouth or the roof of your mouth. That's what I was saying. And you have to continue to like, you know, sort of uh, moisturize it with your tongue so that it, do it doesn't chafe or whatever. I don't know. It just...
Maybe that's why I don't like it. Anyhow, that was the uh, that was the story. And uh, I'm going to continue eating this bowl of cereal. And uh, you all have a good day or evening or afternoon, depending on when you're seeing this. And uh, I will come back to you again next week with yet another of these zany tales of mine. So stay tuned for that.